Hello there, Links here, and we are continuing with Perfect Goal. It's chapter f f f f chapter three, the first day. Mario de la Rue's perspective twenty months ago. We are jumping time and time. Welcome to the Lafay Academy of Magic. Okay. This is it. I'm I'm a Lafay a Lafay student finally. I am Margot Before, head of the alchemy department. Mm. You may call me Professor Before. For today's orientation, you will be acquainted with the traditions of the academy. All right. In fact, starting today, you will begin preparations for one of the most important days of your life as a mage. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you a mage if you do alchemy? Wouldn't you be an alchemist? The luminance. <laughs> hey! The luminance. Is the... Okay, the options seem to be... Oh yeah, because for some reason when I do that with the keyboard, it jumps straight for some reason. It's the highlight of the Barnished Moon Festival. I will be into it once, when Simone was presented as one of the new Elemental Magic students. Was her... S Simone was the sister, right? Was her heart beating this fast too when she first heard about it? At the Luminance, you will demonstrate your magical abilities. You will be required to work on a collaborative exhibit with your classmates. Ugh. But more importantly, you will also have an individual showcase. That's the good one. The first part, ugh. Like collaborative work or anything, ugh. Individual showcase for, yeah. That's where we want to go. I'm speaking, I, I literally am speaking like comparing to standard university life. Collaborative projects, ugh. Anyway. Be meticulous with your planning. Celebrated mages will be there, looking for new apprentices. Mm. To make sure the preparations go smoothly, we have assigned a class representative. She's holding that cane like she's about to smack someone with it. <laughs> she scored the highest in the entrance examinations, with outstanding recommendations from some of the best alchemy tutors here in Castle Coast. Hmm. So this is the one I'm gonna have to watch out for, huh? And she's an alchemy student too. <laughs> Typical. Whatever, I'll show them what... I'll show them all what's up eventually. May I present to you your class representative, Miss Audrey Clary. Who's Clary get top marks? I'm surprised it wasn't Theo Wingrave. Who that? Evelyn Clary was the only one who could keep up with Professor before at the summit. Uncle Harry said she was seeing him for weeks. You think she'd let her daughter get bested? <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> wow, Marion thinks. Not fair. She, she's so gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I look forward to serving as your class representative this year. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check uh, the voice. And I actually haven't done that yesterday. Which is a bit problematic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, perfect gold VA cast. Uh, po -po 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 -po. There we go. Aileen Montgomery. Aileen. Because her voice sounds similar to one of the previous games as well. I wonder if it will be set over here at all. Mm, no, it's not. Hmm. How about VNDB? Will it be there? Uh, 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 something maybe? Uh, 
voiced. Oh. Okay, so only one role. Interesting. So maybe I'm mistaken about this being similar voice. Anywho. I've already discussed some of my plans with the faculty. We shall have the most memorable luminance yet. In order for the preparations to go along smoothly, I would like to ask for a volunteer assistant to help me with the logistics. Would anyone be interested in taking this job? Okay. I volunteer! <laughs> Uh, I mean, hi, I'm Marion LaRue, and I would love to be your assistant. Thank you very much, Miss LaRue. Miss. No problem. I really want us to have the most memorable luminance ever. I'm glad to know we're on the same page, Miss LaRue. Very well. I shall leave the rest of the orientation to Professor Buffon. Professor? Thank you, Miss Clary. <laughs> Honestly, she's about to smack someone with it. Audrey Clary, huh? Uh, I should have read those social light magazines Sa Simone kept sending along with the books. Pretty top notchers like her need to come with a warning. Okay, focus, Marion. Focus. You're here to live your best life. Not be struck by some class representative. You got this. And so that concludes the introduction to Lafay's traditions. We shall now be taking a lunch break. Please be back here in an hour. Look at all these new faces. This is fine, Mario. You, you just need to make new friends, that's all. Yeah. Hey guys. What an orientation, huh? <laughs> I'm starving. Ah, awkward. Wonder what good stuff they got cooking at the dining hall. I'm Marion LaRue, by the way. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, we're heading to Leone's, actually. Wait, what? A five star restaurant for their first day at La Fay? Oh, okay. Have fun then. Maybe I should have put in a summer job for some extra cash. Oh, well. Okay, Marion, you can do this. People love it when you're friendly, right? Right? Hey, guys. I'm Marion LaRue. You heading to the dining hall? Hey, uh, No, sorry. Oh. You guys going to Leone's too? Yeah, maybe. Uh, gotta go. Enjoy lunch. See ya. I feel like they are... Not liking the idea that she volunteers to be the assistant. Something like that. So Franz already got a friend to go to Leonis with. Guess that's one of the nice things about growing up here. Okay, Marion, just try again. You can do this. Hey! Ah, uh, Southerners. A bit over-enthusiastic, isn't she? She'd fit right in with the elemental mages. I'm not surprised. I was around when she moved in yesterday. Her entire family was there. They were all crying before they left. Can you believe that? And they were so loud. It was like one of those nasty circuses. Ugh. Okay, uh, we need Professor Buford Kane to smack that guy in the face. With it, a circus. Where, where are we really like that? <laughs> That's kind of adorable, though. Oh, please! It was super tacky. Poor Audrey. Bet you twenty gold she'll quit because of that one. <clears throat> I don't suppose you were informed that gambling is illegal here in Lafay. Miss Clary. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't for, hopefully. I know, but I'd advise you to be more careful with the things you talk about. After all, you wouldn't want the wrong person to overhear these things. It could reflect badly on you, or worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Clary. Go. See you, Miss Clary. 
Great, now I'll hear something. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Would you like to have lunch together, by the way? Hey. Great! Now I'm the class representative charity case. It's better than having lunch alone for. Uh I gotta tell her. I gotta tell her. I gotta tell her. Alright, it's been 20 months ago, they were barely mad. There is no bad, um, bad air between the two, I guess. So, but yeah, lunch together sounds cool. Sure. Lunch together sounds cool. Also, achievement unlocked. Castle coasts friendliest. But, uh, hmm? what about your friends? My friends? <laughs> well, how about this? Starting today, we. <laughs> Besides, we'll be working together a lot. It'd be great for us to get to know each other. Seriously? She cannot be this nice. I'm probably gonna regret saying no, but... Do you wanna go to Leonie's? Sorry, but I don't have the money for that. No, I'd rather have lunch at the dining room. Let's go! Well then, okay, let's have lunch together. Thank you so much, Miss LaRue. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I'm the new girl, after all. So, what do you think they're serving for lunch? Oh, get ready for lots of pastries. Pastries, huh? <laughs> I don't mind that at all. This is turning out as hmm, terrifying as I expected. I guess, I guess. Chapter 4 The Festival, Audrey Clary. Or Clary. I mean, they say it differently, each person. <laughs> Present day, again. Achievement unlock. Le face top true ones. Can't wait to get myself some sun cakes. Simone wouldn't shut up about them, so they better be good. Hmm. I should have checked for events at Astro Wake much. Would you know if there are any, Princess? <laughs> This is awkward. Their office is empty. Princess? No, that can't be right. They should be in the Fae. Why aren't they in the Fae? Hey, Princess! <laughs> gotcha! The Voo! Why so serious, Princess? What you doing anyway? You look fine. I, I'm not. Wait a minute. Are you scrying? Hmm? And what if I am? Hmm? <laughs> Relax. Before it doesn't strike me as a type to attend festivals. You never know. Maybe today, you know. Maybe today is the day. <laughs> not in the bay. I just want to be sure we won't run into them. That's alright. We got time. Of course, Larue would notice. Is there anything I can't, I can hide from her? Not that it matters right now. What's important is for me to locate Professor before. Focus, Audrey. Ah, they're at Flamel Guildhall. You've got nothing to worry about then. They're probably in a meeting or something. True. Well, maybe. They can probably check on you too. No? I don't think so. A professor before may be a disciplinarian, but they would never take a student's hair strand to spy on them. It doesn't hurt to be cautious, though. You... you... 
You have a fourth hair? <laughs> I wouldn't say I took it exactly. And what would you say? I just came across it while I was on cleaning duty. <laughs> okay. One of the benefits of being a top student is that no one suspects you of such things. An offer to help keep the classroom clean is simply seen as an act of respect and politeness. A show of humility. That is wicked. Wicked cool! I gotta give you alchemists some credit. If I wanted to spy on someone, I'd have to talk to plants, and that doesn't always work out. What? Sometimes they just end up hitting on you. What? There are plants that do that. Oh, princess, you have no idea. <laughs> I've seen enough anime. I've I've played enough VMs to have seen that. Yeah. But uh, got any backup plans in case they check on you? Concerned, Larue? Touching. Uh, thought you would have learned this from me before, Princess. If you're gonna be a rebel girl, always have a backup plan. Oh, well, you seem to have this truancy thing figured out. So, uh, where are you supposed to meet Irene? Hopefully, ne nowhere. We were supposed to go to the festival together, but that's not until later this afternoon. Come on, don't go with her. Iron is so blunt. Oh, so and boring. What are you gonna do until then? You, we, I've seen her for like twenty seconds, and I know that already. <laughs> there are various methods Professor Buffon can use to look for us, so I'm not sure what we can do at this point. Under normal circumstances, Marion's company would be the last thing I'd need. Today, however, hasn't been a normal day. Have to worry about me as soon as we find Irene. How about we don't find her? <sighs> this is kind of ironic, isn't it? We were supposed to go together last year, and now I'm just keeping you company until you meet up with Irene. I. Uh, we don't have to stick together. You can just leave me at the festival when we get there. What happened between those two? No way. I need to know. I'm gonna feel guilty if I leave you alone. And I wanna make sure you won't run off to before just because you suddenly feel bad or whatever. Well, so you know what? I feel like in a lot of VNs they would reuse everything, but I do believe when we were in this area, in other chapter, Actually, the people in the background were different. Pretty sure about that. Hey, Young Young Mobile stepping up the game. I see. As always. Will I be getting in the way of your plans? My plans? Oh, nah. I was only gonna go shopping anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. What else would I be doing on such a nice sunny day? For someone so clever and sharp, she's so easy to read. Why insist on escaping detention for a festival? Well, I suppose I could... Pretend to not care, ask more about her plans. Mm, first of all, save the game. Let's be nosy. Will you be meeting up with anyone? Uh, maybe? <laughs> what about? I don't know. Prescott? You seem close with her. I have no idea who that is. Why do you ask? You jealous, princess? No, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. I just want to make sure I'm not ruining the Sunflower Festival for you. Oh, don't worry. You're all right. Hmm. No 
Okay, let's hurry before they run out of sun cakes. Chapter 5 Calcination Audrey Clary 20 months ago, once again, we are moving back in time. Okay, I'm done. Be warned, Miss Clary. There's a lot on this list. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. There is so much I need to organize. Actually, do you mind reading some of them out loud? Not at all. Okay, let's see. Oh, can't believe that Marquez boy said I'm too enthusiastic. <laughs> the way she said that. So I mean, much. look at this. A room full of golden mirrors where the alchemy and divination students work together to show glimpses of Castle Coast's future. An ambitious proposal? Is it sort of thing that we impress a council of alchemists? Perhaps I should put a pin on it. That's ridiculous. None of us are advanced enough to do that. I gotta admit, it's a cool idea though. Myron's right. It's more appropriate for the convocation ceremony. Yeah, but we don't learn about illusion magic until next year. Right? Oh, here's one from Miss Miyazaki. A collaboration between archaeomancers and elemental mages showcasing the architecture of various cultures through miniatures. The aim of this collaboration is to celebrate diversity in Castle Coast. Oh, I think I like this one. Yes, so do I. I suppose miniatures would be feasible. Oh, just imagine! Earth mages molding them from the soil! Fire mages could even light them up from the inside. They'd look really pretty at night. Hmm. Yes, they would. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces. We'll show them what we can do. These are quaint, they'll say. They'll peer at it from every angle. The flaws magnified. That's how it works, after all. Yes. Ideas so simple and down to earth must be closely examined. That's their method. It's all about seeing how much something it's worth. And of course, when they see my alchemist uniform, I will be questioned. Why miniatures? Why did you go for something greater, grander? Okay, let me just. Miss Clary? Is everything alright? The pressure. It, right? Yes, I'm fine. It seems like the pressure. But your hands are shaky. No, this cannot happen right now. Miss Clary? Actually, Miss LaRue, do you mind if we take a break? Oh, no, not at all. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Well, you keep tugging at your bracelet, so you're clearly upset or worried about something. Oh, no, have I been sleeping up? Am I? Uh, that obvious? Around everyone else? Nah. But we've been working together a lot. So come on. Let's talk. I... I'm sorry, Miss LaRue, but I'm not sure how to talk about it. What do you mean? I'm not shutting you down. It's, it's just that I've never been encouraged to talk about how I feel. Hmm. So uh, I don't know where to begin. Hmm. I see. Okay. Take this. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? I want you to write down what you're afraid of. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, Miss LaRue. Th that's... That's a lot to think about, isn't it? Mm, not really. If I do that, one piece of paper won't be enough. Mm. Fine. How about we focus on something more specific? Like... Hmm. Hmm. How about now? What are you worried about right now? Well... Is it... Is it the festival? Yeah. 
Miscalculations, overlooked safety hazards. An old person getting a panic attack after a tarot reading. An audience member cutting their finger and then torn. A child lost falling illusions away from their parents. <laughs> the list goes on. Wait, what do you plan on doing with this anyway? Oh, trust me, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna read it either. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Here you go. What kind of language is that? <laughs> Thanks. All right. Are you ready? For what exactly? <laughs> Total annihilation. <laughs> Let's go. That's so good. Boop. That's nice. Let's let's use it. But what are you? These are your fears, right? Well, now we're letting them burn. Never have I seen anywhere a green fire for like red flames, of course. Mm, orange, yellow, blue, but never green. Focus on that piece of paper, Miss Claire. I don't complain. It's just, you know, not really common. I think. Smell that smoke? Y yes. This might seem a bit provincial, but in Doveport. This is how we handle emotions that are too big, too heavy for us. We write it so that it's tangible, mm. and then we burn it, offering it to the wind, to the skies. Mm. It's interesting. She's lost in the pure tree of the moment. It's supposed to be a cleansing ritual. Okay, actually this one is a little better with a smile. Yes. I do feel a bit better. Uh, the, the fears are still there, but there's lightness. And the fire. Mm. It reminds me that I'm here. Mm. Here is good. Here I am preparing for the luminance with Miss Larue. And for once I I've got someone I can rely on. Awesome. Woo! Glad it worked. Didn't want you to think I was, I don't know, loony or something. <laughs> On the contrary, I'm impressed, Marion. <laughs> to call her by her actual name. It fills me with warmth. Uh, may I call you that? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm glad. You can call me Audrey. <laughs> All right, Audrey. Totally comfortable with that. As we could hear. Uh, All right. Chapter six. Times change. Marion Larue. One second, but I wonder how many chapters are there. Present day once again. Ooh, this is looking Here we good. Are. This is looking good. Ah, so many people. I mean, of course, there's a lot of people. It's a festival, duh. This will make things harder for. Wow, where do we even begin? We take it one stall at a time, princess. Don't worry. I know this place like the back of my hand. I should hope so. It's really warm here, too. Ah, I almost forgot about how much she hates the heat. I guess I could summon a cold breeze. Tell her to get a cool drink. Uh. All right, this should do it. What are you doing, Lori? Relax. Is that better, princess? <sighs> Thanks. Let's go. No big deal. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Where are those sun cubes? I think at least. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there they are. I thought, you know, she said that we are going once all of a time at the time, so why send her to one specific with drinks, right? Anyway. Audrey, look! Sun cakes! See how they glisten in the sun? 
they do it, I would like one now. I must admit, they do look good. Yeah, dude, one for one for Audrey, uh, one for Mariana, one for me. Let's go. Of course they do. I'm gonna be the third and wheel, but who cares? Spice. No other pastry can compare. <laughs> you such a dork. Take that back. I'm not a dork. There's nothing wrong about being a dork. Come on, Marion. <laughs> right. Sun King? Yes, please. Okay. Hello there. I'd like two sun cakes, please. That'll be two gold each, miss. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Here's your order. Happy Sunflower Festival. Thank you so much. Happy Sunflower Festival to you two. Here, try these. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Oh, there was like a sound these as well. Mm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? Maybe she's around here somewhere too. She loves sun cakes after all. Mm. This would go so well with. Hmm? She wouldn't be at any of the clothing stalls. Ah, I should have signed up for that plant communication class. The orchids would make this so easy. Everyone adores her, but plants practically worship her. Do you think we'll have special guests today? Who is she talking about? I'm not sure. What kind of special guests are we talking about? I heard there's going to be a concert, but... Oh, nah, not that I'm talking about seminars, talks, that sort of stuff. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just surprised, that's all. Why? A year ago, you would have preferred to go to a concert. Oh. Yeah, well, times change. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Must be someone she knows, huh? Oh, maybe the sister. Last year, my favorite band was in the lineup for the Sunflower Festival concert. I picked out a really nice dress for that. Like, a really nice! It was yellow. Audrey's favorite color. Right. L let's move on. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Would you mind if we check out the bookstore? No problem. Guess some things do stay the same, for. Alright. What do we have here? Magic. Just the kind of thing Simone would read. Come to think of it, it's gonna be her birthday soon. Ah, she probably already has a copy anyway. Lost history of alchemy. Oh, no thanks. Excuse me, are you buying that? This one? Nah, you can have it. Thank you. Hey Avery, check this out. Weren't we just talking about this the other day? Ugh. <sighs> That Arthur's full of crap. Healers did not create the alchemical arts. Exactly. Healers did not create anything. Healers. <laughs> Wanna be alchemists who lack the intelligence and nobility for Or maybe they did. The you never know. Arts. Huh. Did you hear about the funding talks? They're claiming that the Alchemist Guild has too much power. Can you imagine? How utterly short-sighted. Castle Coast is at its most glorious right now. Okay, why do you want a book when you are offending them so much? I don't get it. Without alchemy, we'd be no different from those decrepit towns to the south. Uh-oh. This place is about to become a war zone, isn't it? Oh no. Hey, want to take that back? Oh, look, baby mages, how adorable. Take it back? Why? You guys aren't healers. Healers are just as intelligent as alchemists. You got a lot of nerve talking about healers like that. 
It's cold. What are you gonna do when you get sick, huh? Eat gold? And how dare you? Southern towns are just as beautiful as Castle Coast. LaRue, let it go. Take it back! Fists are going to fly. Oh, how boring. Let's go, Quincy. <laughs> Young mages these days really have lost their minds, haven't they? Mm, no, no, they haven't. Do you have to pick a fight with every single person you meet? I mean, technically it's not her who picked the fight. She was insulting you! Uh, I'm an alchemist student, not a healing magic student. She wasn't insulting me. Audrey, please let it go. It doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother you either. But it does! I guess I can see why some people call her the Ice Queen. To them she must seem so calm and cool-headed all the time. But they know better. Okay, so maybe it doesn't bother you. Whatever. But they were still ignorant. I think... I think healers are amazing. It depends. It depends! I mean... I told you in the past that I don't like healers that are just about healing. Especially like anime and uh, end games, I guess, like RPGs, for example. Yet, if healer, if if healers are there only to heal, they are a very weak part of your group, and they get eliminated. They should be basically eliminated. The first thing to do for the opponents. If that's what only what they are about, right? They need to be able to protect themselves and so on and so on. Anyway, we are not getting to that. It's probably worth nothing to her. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Mm. Huh? They they really were wrong, weren't they? Yes, they were. It's been really bad for healers recently. Hmm. Chrysopia used to take ages, but recent studies show that we can transmute base metals into gold at a much faster rate. Hmm. Castle Coast could be even grander than what it is now. Hmm. So much progress with how we handle gold, and yet... Hmm. There are still so many illnesses we don't understand. So many processes in bodies of living beings that we're not even aware of. Mm. Is it so bad to care about the living? No. No. No, it's not. You really are a good person, LaRue. Huh? <coughs> so are you, Princess. Hey, look! They're lighting up the sunflowers. Last year, Audrey was super excited to see these sunflowers. It's her favorite flower. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. She belongs so easily in places like this. Places that are so beautiful. So full of life and warmth. I'd always dreamt of attending this festival. But now I'm just a passerby. A passerby just looking for... Wait. S Simone? S Simone, wait! And so... After seeing set Simone, we'll end the episode and tomorrow we'll get to chapter 7, Dissolution. Hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. Consider liking, subscribing if you haven't already, commenting... Uh, have you ever been to a festival? You can tell me that, like this. Um, you can also go my, to my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and also go to my Twitch as well. We occasionally stream there on Fridays, Saturdays, and that's about it. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.